Hello and welcome to the Let's Play of the Georgian Oil War campaign for Black Shark 2. Um, this is the first mission, and basically in this mission you're escorting uh, friendly units through a series of target points or waypoints. And um, you're told target point 1 is the priority um, target. So um, basically, basically you're going to be escorting them down this valley here. And see there's target one, or no, that's target point three. Target point one, target point two. There's some extra target points back here, but um, I gotta start moving pretty quickly here because, um, let me get right there, there we go. I gotta start moving pretty quickly because if I don't, the column's gonna start moving forward and they're gonna get killed. So, um, one of the things I'm gonna be doing is first thing I'm gonna just take off and head towards the ingress point and I'll be going over kind of what my strategy is as I start heading over there. So for this first um, waypoint I'm going to be getting at a high altitude so I can get kind of a lay of the land. It's behind uh, our front line, so it's relatively safe, and um, you can't. You're allowed kind of a little leeway when it comes to um, this first waypoint, um, this ingress point. So I'm gonna get a little bit north of it um, because I'm not sure about this area. I know this area is relatively safe, so I'm probably gonna park it right here and I'm gonna get it just below the cloud base so let me um, angle upwards and slow down actually let me just yeah angle upwards a little bit more so I trade forward speed for altitude here uh, there's two ways you can acquire targets here you can just look out your window and look for explosions and use uh, your helmet thing or you can use your nav target feature on your PVI 800. So I'm going to use these nav target nav targets um, just for the purposes of just just showing um, how that would work. So this is kind of good right here. So let me turn a little bit. Start working on. Um, Stopping while I'm still gaining altitude because I want to I want to be gaining altitude like as much as I can before I hit the cloud base. So here we go. Let me make sure I'm reset here. I don't know why it's not, not displaying. There we go. Okay, cannon was activated for some reason. So let's park it. I'm gonna put it in a hover. That should be good. Put it in a hover. Turn on my turn to target. Turn on my laser, and then select target point one. What you do is you say nav target, target point one, and I'll select target point one. You can see it blinking up here. So I'm just going to uncage my shawl. Should select target point one, and I'm going to deselect this because for some reason um, it messes with my um, data link targets. I don't know. I've have, I've had issues. So I can see two tanks it looks like let me zoom in on this one see if he's in range so let me lock him it's not gonna let me lock him so I can get out of the hover because for some reason it looks like my hover I've put myself in is not good enough and I'm going to slowly move forward a little bit also I'm gonna cut back my collective so I can maintain a zero for a climb descend so I want to get to the point where I can lock them. So I'm going to keep trying to lock them as I move forward very slowly. Once I can lock them, I'm going to stop and have my wingman go to work here. Okay, I got a lock. So let's slow down here. Okay, let's uh, mark them as a waypoint. Send a memory, reset, tell Wingman 2 to attack basically everything within a 3 kilometer radius of that guy. So let's say Wingman 2, engage, dadling target, turn.
targets. Which means he's going to attack everything within 3 kilometers of um, that unit I gave him. He's going to prioritize air defenses. So while he's doing that, I'm going to get a little bit better speed here. I don't want to be going too fast forward. But I don't think I want to use my hover. I want to slowly be moving forward. So that looks good, right? No, a little bit higher. There we go. So now I'm going to select tank 1, DL ingress. Look at him. And start firing. So going to start taking these guys as quickly as possible because once the, conv the convoy is going to move forward, it's going to counter all these tanks. That's not a good thing. He, you know, just because he told him to attack that daily target doesn't mean he's going to attack it first. So Let's look for anything else in the area. Looks like we got some guys here. They're running. They don't like the fact that I just took out their friend. Looks like I can attack them here. There we go. Hopefully I'll get lucky and uh, not have to use all my missiles on these guys. I've, I've gotten pretty unlucky sometimes. But um, there's a lot more tanks than you have, or there's a lot more targets than missiles, so I'm prioritizing my missiles for the tanks. Um, I'm going to try to use rockets and cannons for lighter units. Um, but these, the trucks and everything that are on the ground can't really... Let me decrease my collective here. I don't want to go up into the clouds. Um, the trucks that are on the ground can't really hit you. Um, so you can just get up on them and fire your cannons. Okay, so let's reset. Go back over here. Zoom out. See if there's any more targets in the area. I think I see something up there. In the, yeah, looks like we got three targets over here. 7.3. Okay, I am slowly moving forward. I believe. So I should automatically get within range. Um, I'm going to let my wingman kind of clear things out, though. I'm going to push it forward just a little bit. It's getting range so I can start firing missiles at this guy. Let's take these guys out fairly quickly. And if anything, my wingman's probably going to be taking him out pretty soon. There we go. Got a lock. Okay, so let's select my... Outer pylons. And hopefully I get lucky here and get a kill. So these guys right here, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but there's it's sloping downward, so I bet if I was at lower altitude, I wouldn't be able to see them. I don't think I got them. I don't think I did. Let me shoot another one. There we go, that got him. I better have gotten him. It did not. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, see like I said, remember I said um, sometimes I get a little unlucky here, unlucky here on my... Sometimes it takes three missiles just to take out one tank. Sometimes it only takes one. I guess it just depends on what angle you shoot him at or um, where you hit him. There we go, he's smoking now. Okay, so he's dead, finally. Uh, I think I saw a couple more over here on the right. There's a tank moving here. See him just in the trees. They're hiding.
Oh man, this doesn't look good. So they're in the trees, and um, it's kind of hard to see them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new point on him, and down and delete my old point. Clear. So now, if I do this, it should. Go right where he is. Okay, I'm going to move forward and um, try and get a better angle on him. So let me move forward here. Probably going to lose a little altitude while I do this. Yeah, I'm not going to increase my collective. I think these tanks are somewhere in these trees now. It's hard to see. Yeah, I see see him right there. So let's turn towards him. I see him right next to each other. Like a couple of uh, tanks just hanging out here. Come on. Of course, I didn't kill him. This is uh, reminiscent of uh, a recent death I've had. Okay, I'm gonna turn on, turn off, and um, set up another approach. Using a lot of missiles on these first couple tanks, um, I guess this will make this mission a little more difficult than it should be. But I think my wingman's still out there working on targets. He might even be working on the next target area. Usually, I mean, those the next target area is within three kilometers, so he he hasn't. I haven't seen anything about him ejecting or anything. So let me get close. Start heading towards this ingress waypoint here. And they were behind a hill, so I need to see if I can increase my altitude a little bit here. Well, we'll see how it looks once I um, once I make my reapproach here. If I if they're behind the hill, I'll have to I'll have to increase my altitude. Okay, so let's start making a turn. I fired a volley of rockets in a vain attempt to hope I hit one of them, and may have. Cause some damage, but we'll see. Usually, I'm not too. Uh, sometimes I get lucky with the rockets. I find they're more useful with. Okay, I just got hit, but I don't see any. I heard the sound it makes when you get hit, but I, I didn't see anything fail. So. All right. Here. Okay. Okay, one of them's dead, so let's take out this one. Come on. Got him. Alright. That took way much, way too much effort. There's the convoy moving forward. Um, they're going to be getting into some trouble here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this is target point two, I believe. Let me just, yeah, target point three. So let's start taking out these guys. I have one rocket, one missile remaining. So I'm gonna have to use my wingman to take tanks out. Um, I have to turn around after this hits. I need to maintain, though. Okay, that's good. So I'm out of rocket. I'm out of missiles. So I need to 
um, reorder my wingman to prioritize the tanks. So I'm going to select one of those tanks. I'm going to delete all my, I'm going to turn my helicopter around and I'm going to delete all the uh, target points or day length targets that I set up here. Uh, let me just get heading towards this um, ingress waypoint. Uh, let me get some level flight going. Okay. So I'm going to delete any targets I've created. Uh, let me select nav target. I think it was three. Okay. That should be far enough. Okay, I'm at a low altitude. Okay, see, so there's a huge hill in my way. I need to gain altitude. Um, let me let me get a little bit higher and kind of park it here, and that way I can or kind of order my wingman to. If you'll let me, there we go. That's what I was looking for. should be good okay hover hover there we go so now let's look at this find a tank real quick okay looks like I took that one tank out we got another tank here increase my collective so I don't fall Send a memory. Reset. You know what? I, I screwed it up. Like I said, that um, nav target three always screws me up. I need. Yeah, it would have. Um, I don't think it would have worked too well if I would have done that. So, uh, turn off nav target. Re lock this guy here. Okay, that was my uh, wingman that just hit him. I think I might be okay. I think those were the last tanks. Let me see if there's any more tanks. There's another tank, okay. He's taking out that guy. Wow, my wingman is going to work. Nice. Okay, let's let's start using cannons. Um, okay, he's not going after that guy, so let's make a run on this guy. I can't believe how quickly he's acquiring targets and the wingman's so overpowered. At least let me kill one guy. It's like, where's my wingman? Oh, there he is. He just took out the whole area with his innumerous missiles that he seems to have. All right. He's probably rearming, if anything. But he's cleared out all the tanks in this area. So there's that guy. Uh, I probably can find another guy real quick. Yep, I can, find, I can shoot on these guys. Reset, turn around, acquire more targets, rinse and repeat. Looks like our caravan is getting close though, so they should be able to. Okay, it looks like my wingman has actually. I think he's going to rearm. I think that's what he's doing. I think 
I believe on this mission, once you take out the first target point, you're pretty much okay, so... I don't think I see any more... Yeah, I don't see anything on the ground here. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't see anything. So let me um, get set up for the next area. So we got one more area. Looking at the road down here, there's our convoy right below us. So they're kind of keeping up with um, our path. I guess my wingman's path of destruction. He's killed a lot more targets than I have. So let me just kind of get a good distance here and then turn around. Let's go here. So the last waypoint, I think. Let me. See, I gotta look at my map, but let's do that. Okay. Last target point. Target point five. So I think I can do nav. Target five. Okay. Interesting. Not set up for hover. Oh, that's just, that's weird. I have my hover on. Okay, so if I uncage, it should take me to target point five. Which I think I see some tanks. Um, yeah, 4.2. Which is almost within, I think, their um, missile range. So let me reset here. Oh, jeez. It is within their missile range, so... Come on. Full throttle, full forward. <laughs> okay, so that next area is, there's a bunch of tanks there. Okay, I think I'm okay. A little bit over speed. Yeah, be careful. My convoy is getting pretty close to those tank that next target point, which I believe there's some tanks there, and I have nothing to um, I can use to help them. Actually, I have no rockets or anything. Let me see if I can stay a little lower here and um, Target point five, where are you? Okay, you're over there. Okay, let's reset this. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the range. That's probably our convoy. Yeah, that's our convoy. Okay, there's a tank. Um, wingman 2, send a memory. Engage. I'm curious if this works. Did that create a daylink target too? Okay, awesome. I, I just learned something. I did not know that. So he's going to be attacking um, all these guys. Oh, let's see. How many rockets do I have? Let me try some rockets on this guy. Okay, I have six rockets. Um, let's try some rockets. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but um, might as well use them on something. Let's be like 
really, really accurate with these, unfortunately. Is that heading for me? I think that's heading for me. I see a missile trail, but it doesn't look like it's... I don't think that's... Yeah. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see if I get him. Not even close. Okay, I don't think that was me that took him out. Pitch my nose up here, so I slowly slow down. Look for some more targets here. There's our convoy moving forward. Targets, yeah. Out of range. Out of range. I think there might be some more better, closer targets in here. Yeah, here's some. There we go. Yeah, let's get on this guy here. Set that up as a point. Okay. Let's do a run. See if we can take out a few of these guys here. Wow, those are some good rockets. I don't think he got any of them. All right, here we go. I'm almost at the cannon range. It's a little risky. I really don't think there's anything else in here that can attack me. I think that might be everything. guys out over here
<clears throat> right, I think that might be all of them. Sorry, I wasn't talking too much there. I was concentrating on um, on the cannon. But um, basically, this mission is complete. Um, even if there is a couple stragglers in there, I think our convoy can handle it. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put myself in a hover here, and um, I don't see any other targets in this area. And I'm gonna bring up the map real quick and just show. Um, let me take my cannon off. Show the waypoints that the um, convoy has set up, and basically that's that's where they need to go. So. Okay, that should be good enough. So, I'm going to bring up the map. I think there's no more enemies in this area. We've killed them all. Um, there's some down here and over here. Um, south of... Basically, our English point was up here, and I parked up here just attacked everyone. That's why I didn't want to go too far south, because, yeah, there could have been potential um, threats. But basically, here's our convoy, and when they get to this um, this waypoint here, same with these guys. Once they get to their waypoint, the mission's won. So let me hit Control Z a couple times and fast forward it. I'm slowly hovering off in some random direction, but I should be okay. Man's rejoining, and yeah, here we go. Once they get to this waypoint, it should see mission complete. So that's that's basically the um, the first mission. The other mission is same thing. There's a convoy, um, I believe. Actually, there might not be a convoy, they're, but they're same enemies and same locations, and you just have to get within a radius of this waypoint, this final waypoint here. So you could probably come in, I don't know, from the back or something, and take them out, or you can just take them out all, all just like I did with the wingman. All right, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure you might have seen it at the top, but it did say mission complete. Um, I missed it while narrating this, and so I will see you on the next mission, and thanks for watching.